The Pair Gear 7.5 F2.8 comes in a small white box. Inside the box is a lens soft case. The lens is well built. It's small, but its all metal and glass construction makes it feel solid and well built. It has nine elements and eight groups. The lettering font is a little small and narrow, so if you do need glasses for reading, you're going to need them for using this lens. It weighs 343 grams with the lens cap, 302 grams without the lens cap. Others have said that it weighs less, but I'm not sure where they got their measurements from. It's great looking at pictures of lenses, but the best way to really test a lens out to see what capabilities it truly has is to take it out into its natural environment, the wilderness, and see what it can do there. See how it can tell stories and what emotions it can pull from the environment. So to help out this lens, I've chosen three different locations today, hidden deep in the wilderness of Ontario, Canada. The first setting is very much like a, well, Canadian forest. It's a young forest, you've got a lot of tall trees with a canopy that's light, letting in quite a bit of sunlight. It kind of feels like late summer, early fall. The second set, or it's not really a set, the second scene is very dark and foreboding. It's very much like, um, I forgot the name of the director of Edward Scissorhands, but it's a Tim Burton, it's got a very Tim Burton feel to it. It feels like Halloween. The kind of setting where when you step on a twig, or somebody else does, the hairs on the back of your neck stand up. You've got a lot of tall trees, they're very close together, and all the, all the branches are completely dead. With the exception, if you look way, way up, you can see a very thick canopy with some dark green leaves. It doesn't make you feel any safer. And then the third location is, well, it's right out in the bright sun. It's a beautiful location. It's a marshy area. There's some uh, brand new bridges that have just recently been constructed. We've got a lot of evergreen, so the area is very green. It kind of takes away from the time of year that this actually is, which is the beginning of fall. And then off in the distance, we have some ponds and lakes, and the leaves really start to change color. We see some rich purples, oranges, and yellows. It's just a beautiful location. But without further ado, let's see how well the Pear Gear 7.5 millimeter f2.8 lens can do in the hands of a photographer. I've got the village mayor up here again from Mississauga to really see how this lens can perform. I'm more of a filmmaker, and I don't think I can really do this lens justice. Now, one word of caution though, there are a few photos that are a little bit out of focus, and that's really not the fault of the lens since it's a manual focus lens. It does take a little bit of practice to focus with a manual focus lens. One thing I do suggest if you do get a lens like this, when you, when you go into focus, so go into focus and then just go a little bit out, and as it starts to blur, bring it back in, push it a little bit, and then come back in. And that will help you break or get focus much more often than not. But anyhow, without further ado, let's turn it over to the village mayor. Hey, it's the uh, village mayor here once again, and uh, this is kind of a take two of uh, the uh, Pearl Gear review. And first of all, I want to say thank you so much for all of your feedback and constructive um, uh, feedback about uh, how to use this, this camera, first of all, and this lens. So Simon and I uh, took the chance to come back here again, north of Toronto, to, uh, to really have a look at what this lens can actually do. And after going through um, trails and, and, and a large forest, I was able to take some really amazing uh, photos. And I was actually quite impressed. Now, I'm not a professional. I'm just a hobbyist photographer. So uh, it's even so, it, I, I looked at the, uh, the photos from the, the camera. And just from what I see from here, it looked really amazing. I'm actually having a lot of fun with this lens. And that's surprising because I was very skeptical when I first looked at this lens. Uh, and I wasn't sure how I was going to be able to use it. Uh, but you know what, it came very natural. Um, what I found that the, uh, the images were quite sharp and uh, really it focused quite well. So am I going to probably buy, this, buy a lens, something like this? I don't know, maybe in the future. Um, but I'm really excited to have uh, tried out this lens today. And uh, yeah, hopefully um, I'll be able to play it again one day. Thanks a lot, Tim. And thank you for giving up another Saturday morning to come up north and help me review the Pear Gear 7.5 millimeter f2.8 lens. It was a lot of fun. I enjoyed shooting with you. I think we got some great footage. 
And I think he really helps show off that the pair gear fisheye lens, the 7.5 millimeter, is far from a toy and can produce really great results. Like this image here, I think that just looks, I, it's gorgeous. It's one of the best ones you actually took. And then of course there's this one here, which really kind of shows you the forest and how deep and dark it is and sort of the menacing aspect that I, I felt when I walked through this part of the forest. It's got that Tim Burton Halloween-esque kind of mood or emotion going to it. Anybody who says a particular lens or camera is just a toy, well, they don't understand the tool. They don't understand what it can deliver. And when somebody tells you that, ask yourself the question, what is the viewpoint that they're coming from? Because this pair gear, 7.5 millimeter f2.8 lens, I think is terrific. It's a lot of fun. It's not as much fun as the 800 millimeter that I took out before, but you know, there's a difference between shooting the moon and shooting the forest. And it doesn't take away from the pair gear. I think it's a lot of fun. It's a great lens and it, it challenges you to find different locations and scenarios or settings to be able to frame your scene. So all in all, I think it's highly recommended. It's well constructed. It's a terrific lens. But that's it for now, guys. I do want to remind you, though, to subscribe, because if you do subscribe at 20,000 subscribers, I'm giving away two microphones, the Cinco S6E Lavalier Microphone and the M3 Shotgun. That's at 20,000. Then I'll be giving away a different prize every 20, 000, or every 10,000, all the way up to 100,000, when I'm going to be giving away the Canon EOS, a brand new Canon EOS R5 full frame mirrorless camera. And all you have to do is subscribe. I do recommend watching this video here because it does have a lot of the terms and conditions. There are minimum age limits and certain parts of the world, based on lawyer recommendations, um, the contest is not available. But thanks for watching The Ordinary Filmmaker. We'll see you again soon.